Goblin Mavericks, Babbling Mavericks, Gabbing Mavericks, Talking Mavericks, Cha-cha-cha, Hi everybody, we are doing the Mavericks best teams ever playing each other uh, bracket. This is a simulated games. Uh, first we're starting with 2022 versus 1999. Hello. So here's the first highlight. And a goal! Really a problem from Nathan Smith. Yep. 2022 off to an early lead. Save and another one, but he can't save that one. Aaron Fox. And Aaron the Fox, the guy who has the most goals ever for the Mavericks. Yep. So the number one and sixteen <laughs> seeds here. Facing oh. The oh. oh, another goal by Nebraska. Yep. This time assisted by Brendan Burke. So 2022 up in the second period. Now with about three minutes left. Here comes Sandlin. Sandlin. So a three to one lead for the number one seed, 2022. Obviously, with the best winning percentage ever of any D1 team. Oh, the score! Aaron Fox Aaron and Jesse Looney and Ben Christofferson. So a three-two game. Four, three-two. Oh! Two seconds left in the second period. Tim Wolf from Tyler Dice. Oh, we got a game here. Four, three, two, one. Going to overtime. Ooh, the number one seed going to the overside of overtime with the 16 seed. Ooh, just missed. Oh, just missed. Look at how long the overtime are. 90? Yeah, 90 minutes. <laughs> so you can oh. do it longer. Yeah. Oh. oh! Ryan Sandal and scores. Just kind of like when you scored against, uh, is it Cornell to get the Maverick, or no, the Quinnipiac to get them the, the first... NCAA tournament win. Except the guy was actually able to move. That's know? true. <laughs> and also there were a lot of people at the night. So, so you're able to do it longer, the overtime is longer than during the tournament, yes. the other tournament? I didn't want to have a tie and then I'd have to do it all over again. So there you go, lots of shots on goal, 33 for each. Fair, a pretty even game. Yeah, 1999 took it right to the wire as a 16 seed. If you notice at the beginning of the games when we play each other, you'll see that they have a rating, and that rating determines their uh, their winning percentage. So. Like even though it says uh, Philadelphia and yep. and every team ha says an, an, it's an NHL team, it's yep. really not. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna try. We'll see what I can do with graphics. I might be able to kind of repair that and we'll see when I actually put this one out. Feels like there's less highlights than you. Yep, I just did the quick ones because we have eight games, so I didn't think it'd be a good idea to put them all on there, like 18 minutes worth of shows. So <laughs> we just, I decided just to kind of shorten up just by the highlights of the goals. So, there we go. Let's see McKay, 30 shades. Oh, now we got the wild card team versus 2013 wild card team where all the players I couldn't get on the other teams. Wild card probably. <laughs> The Matt team and a goal. There's Matt Lechner from the Ryan Hayes. Yep. Yep. yep, they don't have much defense because they didn't play very well or much together. Although there's a lot of guys from the 2006-2017. Oh, on a breakaway. Here it comes. Oh. Oh, God. Saved. Oh, oh, my goodness. He falls over. Nick Buchanan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it should have been number four. Somehow the number one got on there. I fixed it for later when we play each other. Ooh, another oh, one. Oh, that's a score for Steve Wagner. Yep, so there we got the 07 means he was part of the 07 team. That I took the best oh, players in the in the best year. Here comes whoever the one is, and I did not study. <laughs> Chase Grant, isn't it? Score! Oh, Mar Chase Grant, I guess Marginary must have tipped it or something on the way in. Yeah, he did. Okay. I saw okay. it. Okay. Yeah. All right, 3 1 game. Ooh, oh, one great timer. Great one timer. Tim Jackman. From uh, Brent Cummings. Cummings only played for one year with Maverick. Ooh, Ooh, what a save. Look at that. That didn't matter, I guess, at the end because the team in white won. The 2013 team is moving on. I don't know why the goal he didn't pass it. Well, he had to pass it to have uh, a I suppose with zero seconds left, it probably just wasn't worth it. was <laughs> So there we go. Uh, so, 3-2 to two game. Uh, you can see the... Uh, 
the wild card team, kind of the alumni team, actually outshot them. Had more attack zone time, had a better passing percentage, more faceoffs won, but it didn't matter in the end, did it? Something went a little crazy with their screen for a second. There we go. So yeah, you can see the uh, stats from the, uh, the wild card team, as I call them. Has Jesse Clark was the goalie. Or, I'm sorry, Austin Lee was the goalie. Uh, Clark, not as good as most YouTubers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's okay. We're just having some fun here anyway. Something to watch in the summer when you're missing college hockey. <laughs> All is not during the summer. Yep. Now is the 2019-2000 game. And the team, who throw their tickets for tag goes out of the net. Yep. Uh oh. Chopped on the ice. Yep. So. Uh, we've got a lot of a uh, couple people in the box there. It's a five-on-three situation here. Three, so, four. so there you got T.J. Guderelli. And a power play goal. Yep. So one nothing lead for the the team that's. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Yep. As the power play ended, <laughs> they they got a goal. So yeah, it just when they looked like the underdogs were Thanks. in the power play. Nope. <laughs> now. Hold on, Frank. Yep. And a lot of these guys you have heard of. Uh oh, oh, a bad turnover. Eric, yep, Eric Payton probably wasn't looking to turn that one over right there in front of him. I'm sure the real version would do it. Oh, would they get an extra goal? No. They just want to pull off the time, I guess. Yep. So the K, TJ Gidrell, and Mark McCullough says the players are doing Lots of uh, action here. Again, the. Uh, the Higher seed takes the game. Here's the number four seed for 2019. 30 shots on goal to 25. 2020 put on some shots. They weren't afraid to shoot the puck. Afraid uh, <laughs> it didn't quite go in for them. Uh, it's hard to get past Dryden McKay, especially in you know, every year. <laughs> and Pateman was also a very good goalie back in 2000, though. That was a 19 or 2000. 1999 were huge years for him. He did a really good job back when the Mavericks uh, were first times in Division One. I. I wouldn't know because I was born in 2011. Yeah, so we weren't quite around for that one. So uh, a few people in the box, but Shane not McMahon, who I pretty much just always forget about. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, he's on. He had an assist on the game-winning goal in the 2019. Oh! Yeah, he scores! Bryce, too bad. From my favorite player ever for the game. There you go, 3 2 1, it's over. <laughs> Only one goal. <laughs> Cole Huggins, Stefan Williams, and Bryce Gervais. Obviously, with a 1 0 game, usually your goalies are going to be the players of the game, and that seemed to be what happened here. Uh, 2015, just like uh, when they played the, in the NCAA tournament. Surprisingly lost. Uh, here they surprisingly lost to the next year's team. Although a lot of, a lot of players are on both. And they probably know ex they probably know exactly what's gonna happen because you know, that actually gets me confused when you think about it. Yeah. Well, you know we're gonna play each other, so uh, maybe 2015 could win it all when I'm playing them or you're playing them. We'll do a coin flip each time and see who's gonna play who. Bryce Gervais with 11 shots on goal. Yeah. It was not afraid to shoot the puck in reality as well and here even in video game form he also not afraid to shoot the puck and even on this team <laughs> he outshot everybody by far and uh for some reason brad mcclure decided to spend a lot of time in the box apparently brad mcclure all right 2020 versus 2008 now again another team that you know well against another team you have no idea because you weren't born yet 2020 <laughs> Oh, yes, but from Ian Scheid. Who was, a, who was, actually, a, who was actually a defenseman, but yep. it seems like he was an off, a forward. Yeah, he's the all-time leading defenseman scorer. So. Oh, one time on a goal! Nick Berge from James Galrap. But keeping it close here against 2020, that would be the oh, overdog. No. Oh! Josh Frank with the goal, because he touched it last. Yep. 
All right, here we got six minutes left in the third. Oh, off the side oh, of the almost had, almost had the tire right there. And oh! score! One timer again, Trevor Bruss from Ben Yowds and Joel Hansen. They just wouldn't stop. Yep. Get, here we go, last few seconds. See if we can go overtime. Oh! Oh, my God, two seconds left! Mark McKay on from Lucas Souter and Johnny McKay! Oh, it's quite the pass from McKay to Souter. It's <laughs> quite the Double pass from Souter to McKay. That's going to be it. The winning goal there by Mark Michaelis with Lucas Souter. They, they appreciate his first goal and his uh, awesome assist, so they gave him the player of the game. So that's 2020. Who knows what that would have ever happened with them had they got to play out the whole season. But they're the only Mavericks team that never finished this season because of COVID. They're one of the few Mavericks teams I'd have to look to see. Um, but most Mavericks teams never finish the year with a win. They might be the only Mavericks Division I team to ever finish the year with a win, although there could have been some in the late 1990s before they got in the WCHA playoffs. So. And Berge, and Berge, Berge yep. also Berge. got 11 yep. shots on goal. Yep. Not really known as a big-time shooter, but at least in this game he was. Again, it's hard to get past McKay more than once. You get two, you're feeling pretty lucky. So we'll see what happens next with the next game, which is the 2017 versus the 2014. Toomey also got 11 shots on goal. Yeah, Parker Toomey said, I'm going to stick it to you, apparently. 17 All right. versus 15. Here we go. A couple teams that you saw. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh! That was a weird goal. John Paul. La Fontaine at the goal there. All right. Oh, oh another great goal. Yep, Carter Fogu with the goal. Fell over. Yep. Carter Fogu put it in to the net. Two, nothing lead pretty quickly. Oh, oh he typed with two early. Mark Michaela said, yeah, I'll just go ahead and put that one Mark in. Mark Michaela. <laughs> yeah, it may have been the first one. Oh, oh John Yutsi and Chase Grant. 14. A lot of those players were great in 15, too. I, so. I think Mark Michaelis was actually a sophomore that year. You might be right. Here we go. Empty and here. Score. score. This team is modern side score. For more stats. Dylan Marginary, the only guy who got, ever got my hat on the ice <laughs> with a hat trick. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I was not. You, you were, actually. Okay. Uh, baby Ellie hadn't been there before. John Mucci, Chase Grant, and Mark McCaleb. So. I wasn't there, was I? Yeah, you were there. Okay. Yep. Well, I got everything wrong. Yep. <laughs> well, you're pretty small at that time. Cause was, I think it was right around 2016. So. 20, 20 shots. They tried 118 passes. Yep. Friday. They tried to pass. So far, only one upset game. Only the... the the uh, 12 beating the 5, the 2016 by 2015 has been the only upset we've had so far. Through the 2017-2014, this was a pretty close one, a 7-10 seed one. But the uh, overdog, so to speak, did get it over. Alright, let's see what happens next with the game against the 2021 team and the 1997 team. Now there's a team you won't know anything about. <laughs> 1997? Uh-huh. You'll know a lot about 2021. Yeah, 1997. That was my senior year in college. So let's see what happens with these guys. Maybe I'll know some of these people. Maybe. I got a picture with a couple of them at the championship game. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Dallas Durad somehow got it in the, there. And Dez usually says it's not going in, but... Apparently in that case he didn't. Uh, yeah, I know really. that. So, like, yes, yep. yes, Christopher. Yeah, he, he couldn't do much on that. Reggie Lex just slaps out of it. Some of these guys were in the alumni game. There's oh, shot. big shot. Hey. Oh, he scores! Walker, Walker Dewar. Dewar. And Reggie Lutz. This time Walker Dewar can't say sorry for his scoring in, in fake life but not in real life. Like oh, no, no more. <laughs> Dallas Duraz in the second. Hiroshi with an accidental ec, uh, uppercase I. <laughs> and McKay, uh, that, uh, uh, oh, there you go. Tyler Dice from Aaron Fox and Jason Krug. Jason Krug, I have a picture with at the National Championship game. Oh, that's a goal! There it is. Brendan Furry. Brendan Furry! 
Yay! 2021 says, Don't Forget About Us. Because 1997 was a good team. But <laughs> wow. 2021 obviously had a little bit uh, better run at the end of the season. We almost outside, but they don't call it. Oh, and there's another rebound goal. Todd Burgess yep. is the one of the left, yeah. one of the Mavericks players who has the same name as my dad. Yep. <laughs> True. We've had a couple uh, Todd Burgess out there, but he hasn't got on the board on the other games yet. So, he would have been on that and game. Awesome to say. Yep. And, and <laughs> funny that he would have been playing in this game too, Todd George. So there's a couple of Todds out there. All right. So 30, 36 shots on goal and six goals there for the 2021 team. And then we have, uh, they basically dominated most of the stuff there. I mean, they're, they're a really good team going to the Frozen Four. 1997 wasn't too bad either. Uh, definitely had some offensive guys. Tyler Dice, obviously, big-time shooter. But Ryan they didn't Rintour. go to the Frozen Four, did not, they? Not, not unless they bought a ticket. So, <laughs> Jared McKay again, hard to get it past him. There's nothing you can do much about that. Still uh, fun to always see the 1997. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll, I'll maybe we'll rig it so I can be the 1997 and see if I can take him to the championship. <laughs> I don't remember all those guys. So, all right, we got one more game left here, and that's going to be the 2003 version versus the 2018 version. This would be a very interesting game in real life. I mean, that would be a really cool game uh, because these two teams were very, very good. There you go, Zeb Knutson. Uh, the starting lineup for the 2018 had. Zeb Knutson was the only guy who didn't have didn't get to the NHL. Oh, there is a goal. <laughs> Mark McAllis. And he's the all-time leading scorer in South Dakota NCAA history. So, But the 2003 team had the best line of all time. And I get Dana Sorensen wasn't even on that, and he gets it. Yeah, <laughs> they, had, uh, they had two All-Americans on the same line with Shane Joseph and, uh, and Grant Stevenson. Yeah, I have no idea how that yeah. works. Well, John Bolt, the electronic John Bolt, didn't make a very good decision. He's like a computer. Yep. Oh, there he goes. Not go. using it. <laughs> he didn't the Joe Borna identity, I identified him. There he is. He and BJ like Abel. <laughs> oh, oh there. big slapper there. Oh, by Nick Rivera. And Brad McClure and the assist. Oh, here we come. Here they come. I just feel like Rivera was the one who would have scored the goal if yep. the went off. True. Uh, that's right. Well, here you go. There's, there it is. Joseph, Abel, and Stevenson, their greatest line in Mavericks statistically history. History there. Oh, just shoot it. Oh. DJ <laughs> Abel just didn't pull the trigger. <laughs> well, you he know. Was still a, uh, he was still a star of the game, though. He was, yep. DJ Abel was on that line a lot of times. And boy, that was, a, that was a fun line to see. That was probably their best line ever. Well, there you go. There, That's the last one of it. So... Looking at the next round matchups before we start everything up here. As we kind of go through the stat line as we go up there, we've got uh, 2022 versus 2013. we got 2019 versus 2016. We've got 2020 versus 2014. And 2021 versus 2018. These are the matchups we're going to be doing here sometime uh, Probably after we play our games, maybe we'll simulate them then. The Cuvier makes a lot of saves on that one. Connor the Cuvier. Yeah, you should, show, you should get the picture up there that says, Connor the Cuvier, you're my hero, because you made that and brought it to a game. Remember that? Yeah, I yeah. do. <laughs> that was pretty fun. It was like a construction paper. Only That's somebody true. got 12 uh, yeah. shots on goal. So there you go. There's a the simulated games bracket. We've had a lot of fun. Uh, we'll have a lot of fun playing them, and we will see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.